Hello, welcome back to Chi Money Gang. So this is Chisa Mutebeaka, and like I promised on Degree Money, this course I'm talking about today is my own course that I studied, which is English and Literary Studies. So where are all them English graduates? Come, 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 come closer, come closer, right? If you studied English and Literature, studied English education, um, everything that had to do with English, you will find these things amazing, right? So let's look at 20 ideas that you can actually start today. Of course, not all 20. You're going to start any of them or any two or any three of them today that will give you massive income as an expert in English language. Wait, did you even know that world over, people are looking for English speaking and English teaching individuals? What have you been waiting for? Don't let the rave of you know, if you're in Nigeria, for instance, teaching in English in a private school where they're paying you way, way lower than what your word is. Let it not make you feel like you don't amount to much. So I'm giving you 20 ideas. In fact, I could give you even more from the things I've done and some that I haven't done, but let's go. Okay, number one thing you can do with your English degree, but let me say before I get into that, is that these fees are intentionally um, put in dollars because that's the language of YouTube, right? And you can always convert into your industry and then you can do the deductions and subtractions and additions as it suits you. Because I realized that price, of course, is dependent on your environment, it dependent on your experience, and it dependent on who you're serving, right? So you have to go ahead to benchmark this according to your reality. I know that in my currency in Naira, some of these prices might you know go up or down of course down most of the times and it's, it's okay but remember you're a global citizen and you can charge whatever you think you're worth looking at the people who need your services okay so number one thing you could do that i have also done in the last few years with my english language degree is freelance writing yes freelance writing you can offer to write independently as a person for organizations who need content for their blogs, for their social media pages, for their business, right? So like things like business profile, uh, website content. In fact, they even tell you that I made my first million in Naira from writing a business profile and a website content for one organization in just about two weeks there about, sometime in April of you know, some years ago. Now, so if you think that writing is one of those things that's overrated, probably you think it's not amount too much. This is me telling you, don't be sleeping on the moving trend, guys. So go ahead and hone your skill in writing. Now, how easy is it to penetrate the writing industry? Very easy because every organization needs somewhat of a writing, whether it's a project or report or emailing or whatever it is, marketing. All you have to do is position yourself in a type of writing that you're very skilled in. So you can't be a journey, you know, everybody kind of writer. Somebody can meet you and say, help me write a grant proposal, for instance. If you're not skilled in it, you may not want to pitch yourself in that niche. I mean, we can go further into that later, but for each writing project, it's estimated that you can make anywhere between $500 to $1,000 per project. And in a year, you know, Lo looking at the conservatives, you know, meaning that you're not getting these jobs as every day and you don't have a large team working with you. There's no reason why you can't make between six thousand to twelve thousand dollars every year from just freelance writing. And you know what? Because you're an expert in English language, people will trust you more. They will trust you more than the other person who probably doesn't have a degree in your line. Now, do you get what I mean? Right? So let's go to number two. It's the good old content creation. Content creation is actually a lot. You know, it can be varied. It can be that you're creating video content, infographic, design, text, whatever it is. But you can actually create content for people who need to sell their business, either managing their social media pages or, you know, whatever it is. And it's estimated that on average, again, on the conservative mode, you can earn anywhere between $400 to $800 every month from that service. And that is like between $4,800 um four thousand eight hundred dollars every year between that on the low end and nine thousand six hundred dollars yearly from only content creation managing people's social media pages with their business pages maybe copywriting whatever it is maybe for their product labeling you know what i mean and 
that is just one source of income that you can also look at so this is number two number three is of course teaching english online oh my god i would say online or offline there are lots of organizations lots of individuals lots of children lots of expatriates who do not speak english who are actually looking for who to coach them to speak english because either because they are looking for opportunities in english speaking countries and you could be their lifeline and there are online platforms you can actually register and be part of the online tutors for english language and people are making anywhere between nine thousand two hundred dollars to about twelve thousand dollars every year from teaching english online alone right so you know what to do now i know one of the questions you're going to ask me is like which other platforms are there please google google and find platform cost on helping people connect to english language teachers right another one is of course teaching english to students right now these are like maybe students that you see who are in school obviously but need like an extra coaching and all of that i did that a lot in 2006 when i was a, a youth call member you know coaching students who are not finding it very easy with their english classes and people are charging up to 20 dollars to 50 40 dollars an hour teaching people polishing helping them polish their english skills to help them with their exams and with life in general so why not if you add that to your income and trust me there are students everywhere just around you who are struggling who in fact the only some of them are even taking external exams and the only reason why they are still retaking those exams is that they can't pass english language you know it's such a big deal right <laughs> and it's not one of those courses that you could just wake up and pass right just like every language it can be very tough so certain kind of people so seek them out and they will not mind for you to coach them on an hourly basis and world over conservatively you can make anywhere from four thousand dollars to nine thousand six hundred dollars a year coaching people one-on-one -on -one students now now the next one is one that i love so much it's, it's part of the business that i started in 2009 my very first ever business and i remember when i went to register this business in corporate affairs and here in nigeria one of the questions i was asked is that no we can't register this company for you except you're an, an expert and i was like how do you mean they're like this is a very specialized yes that's what i said specialized area and for you to be editing people's work and handling the intellectual property you have to be somebody who is either a linguist a language student um a graduate now or you know a journalist and i was like oh hell up hell up hold up hold up hold up i am one and they're like okay so you need to come back with an original certificate of yours that was the first time i saw my english certificate come to my rescue like literally and i went home came back the next day with my certificate they made the duplicate and that was how my company was registered in 2009 so you can see what i mean and i went with pride to go ahead and offer that service till now and my company has grown from there you know what you can charge anywhere between ten dollars to forty dollars a word a word <laughs> i know it might not be the same in your country to edit or proofread works and people are making anywhere between nine thousand to twelve thousand dollars every year from editing books proofreading books proofreading content and editing content in general so it depends on what you decide to charge remember the ball is in your court. Let's go to number six thing you can do with your English language and literary degree. Number six, the next is that you can create an online course. Yes, I have several online courses and I can tell you for free. Create an online course teaching people English or teaching anything related to English. So you see, you don't let this thing about teaching English make you feel like it's only English you need to teach. I have an online course on blogging. I have an online course on editing and proofreading. The same thing I do for people, right? I do it for people who want to start their business. So you can create an online course. And the good thing is, it's in English, right? So go ahead. People make anywhere from $50 to $100 selling mini online courses every year. And you can make any, in fact, it is limitless. I have a coach, a personal coach who actually taught me how to create online courses when it comes to creating the curriculum back in the days and she makes over two thousand dollars from her online course per person right now so imagine how much you can make in a year she has gone ahead to train people who want to make up to hundred thousand dollars from their courses because she had made that from their courses and my courses are doing quite well as well they are in six figures now not where they're supposed to be but when i have my launches periodically in the year and yes so you can do the same right you can do the same nothing is stopping you okay the next one is you're an english graduate why don't you participate in writing competitions especially the ones that have handsome monetary rewards <laughs> don't even sleep on this i remember 
or rather, I remember just that even as I speak, there's a, a popular publishing company here in Nigeria that is currently doing a writing challenge, right? And it came to my mind like, okay, so why don't you submit? But I didn't submit, but then if it is your thing, why not? There are lots of competitions every year that has handsome rewards. You could actually add that to one of the things you do every year, seeking out opportunities to showcase your writing and winning opportunities and money while at it, while you're also making money from any of, of other things I'm going to mention, right? Prizes from such competitions can be varied, so you can't really place a mark on it. But if you're able to get into one or two or three competitions every year, so imagine coming up tops and making the money, right? So why not? Don't restrict yourself by yourself, okay? The next one, one of another favorite I love, blogging and vlogging. Oh my god, you're an English graduate, you don't have a blog. I mean, vlogging about English, helping people to polish their English, blogging about storytelling, about books that you're reading, about your, you know, history, whatever it is that you're reading, right? We are literature and we are English graduates, so why not? Create a blog about some of the things, favorite things you love. My first ever blog in 2009 was actually a blog on editing and proofreading and it gave me one of my first international clients from that year so and I've gone ahead to do several jobs for several people after them so why not blogging is still underrated if you ask me a lot of people flooded into blogging years back and now they've pulled out don't let it discourage you blogging is still a veritable way to make income from sponsorship and adverts and adsense you can still monetize your blog and by selling your own digital product people are making at least ten thousand dollars every year from blogging and vlogging vlogging of course having to do with videos right so don't let that pass you by to start even if you have always been thinking about it this is your motivation to start how easy it is to start very easy all you need is to get trained in how to set it up and all that and I also have a book on blogging that can help you on the PR step-by-step -step guide on how to start off you know blogging right away so if you need it click in the description you're gonna be able to download your copy and read and be able to know how to paste and launch your blog profitably okay oh yes if you like to go out if you like to dress up if you like to connect with people one-on-one -on -one, why not organize a literally event an event where people can come in, connect with you know literary agents, books, reading, you know showcase their works and all of that. You can charge a fee for it, anywhere from between twenty dollars and fifty dollars. People pay at the gates to buy tickets to come and participate in offering poetry, drama, all of that thing. That, you know, you know the things that we learned in school, right? You can do it. You can have a brand of an event that offers that and make it a signature thing that people know about and with time you're going to make lots of money if you have just an event every year yes yeah, no way you're not going to make at least two thousand between two thousand and five thousand dollars conservatively every year just hosting events one day events few hours in, in fact nobody does an event for 24 hours so think about it think about the planning that goes into it and the thing you need to make it happen and then hit the ground running you are an expert in this and so people will believe you Another one, if you're somebody who studied English and you're very good with performing poetry, all those poems you're writing, yes, we can write, but you can actually memorize your poems and then deliver them to a live audience. If you become popular for that, there is no cap to how much you can be paid to come for, for events to perform it. I have a lot of people who have pivoted from courses like engineering, especially engineering. I have two top people I know who pivoted from their engineering courses to poetry. And now poetry is the one, you know, helping them tell the world. So what are you doing as an English graduate who understands poetry, who writes poetry and who can perform it? You can go and make your mark performing poetry in events and events are every day so you decide the kind of poems you make the kind of poems you make decide on the kind of events you can go present them and you can make as much as you can i mean even as little as hundred dollars to perform for five for five minutes and you get that every other week it's a lot yeah added to the other things you're going to be doing with your degree okay so go think about it write your poems perform them and become a star Literally, you know that when you start writing poems, people who also do music and all that will start coming to you to write music for them. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? There's so much money on this field, so don't sit on it. Now, the next one is manuscript assessment. Now, this is different from proofreading and editing. Manuscript assessment is people sending you their work book 
manuscript after they are done to help them critique it to look at what could could be working for them or against them you could be their characterization the names it could be the structure the plot you know you look at overall what things that they need to remove or add to add some spice to the work so you're not doing anything on the work you're only giving recommendations at the end of reading it to help them rewrite or include or remove or improve on something that will make the work stand out the more for its intended readers. Manuscript assessment is a big deal. I have a friend with who is a specialist in this and you can charge anywhere from $100 above and you can make at least $2,000 every year as a side gig doing manuscript assessment for people. And if you get much more people, remember we're looking at the low end, if you get much more people every year, Imagine you're reading books for free, you're enjoying reading people's works, and you're giving them creative ways to go about making it better before they go all the way editing and publishing it. So why not? Consider that they will trust you because you have a good grasp of the English language and you're a storyteller. So why not? All right. The next one is you can be a freelance journalist. This was something I did between 2007 to about 2011. You can write articles. I mean, to 2013, I remember a politician also employed me to, to help him set up a whole media firm, right? And yes, that's because from uh, of recommendations from the works I have written. So you can become an article contributor to a newspaper. Look at newspaper and look at the columns that you think you can write for. Even if it's about teaching English, you can have a column on the, in your in your countries in your countries national or sub or sub regional newspapers and contribute continuously on those pages and become an authority in it. And it can be paid anywhere from fifty dollars to hundred dollars. And at the end of the day, just doing that, you can earn up to at least two thousand dollars every year as a side gig doing newspaper writing freelance. Right, so I remember when I used to have a newspaper column also back in the in days. Sometimes it's just one article a week that they need, so sometimes you don't need to write. And of course, in these days of AI, what are you even waiting for? Go ahead and make the best out of this and see how that can take you. And of course, you know that newspapers have also gone majorly online. There are lots of news websites. In fact, even just last week, somebody contacted me from the US. I mean Nigeria, somebody could from the US to write articles for their platform. Even though our price range did not match and so I didn't get to work with her, but it shows you that the opportunities are there, right? So go ahead and take the opportunity and let's see where that can lead. Because you're an English graduate, remember, people will trust you better. Okay, great. So next is book reviews. So people are reading their books or maybe they're about to publish, but they need somebody to help them review and write some sort of praise for the work. So it's like you putting your stamp of authority that this work is gonna help intended readers. And because you're an English graduate, people are gonna come flooding for you to read their book and give them a review of what you think about the book. And people charge for this. I remember a friend of mine who started doing book review for money in my country, then people started saying, why will you be collecting money to do review? Why will you be collecting money to do forward? And he's like, excuse me, but today people are beginning to see that is something you can do. Of course, globally, it's something that is already done. What cannot be monetized? As long as you're giving your time, your knowledge, your efforts, it has to be monetized, okay? And it, don't feel bad about doing that. Book reviews can earn you anywhere from $20 to $50 per manuscript. And then, I mean, as a side gig, you can make anywhere from $400 to $1,000 every year just writing book reviews added to other things you're doing as a specialist think about that so why will you let that money go just because you're not even focusing and talking about the fact that you can help people write a place for their work okay the next one is for you to, um, for you to be an intern as at a literary agency a lot of african countries do not really have that streamlined literary agency thing do not really have because we don't really have a strong intellectual property business organized business sector right but that's fine that doesn't make you limited remember we are global citizens you can make sure that you can become visible online where people anywhere can find you so you can intern you know maybe remotely or live with a literary agent and understand and understand what they do and get paid while doing that internship with money that's what i mean so you can be paid anywhere from 250 dollars to 300 dollars monthly globally being an intern at a literary, as a literary agent and of course you can also become a literary agent yourself afterwards right so literary agency can give you some thousand four hundred dollars a year to about three thousand six hundred dollars every year you know just doing this 
and you know learning as well something that can bring you a lot of income as well while you keep learning and then you can set up yours as you go right another income stream for english graduates i want to introduce to you is copywriting copywriting means writing for advertisement so you can write for those who are uh, for advertising agencies and make money while at it how is it is it to do this you need to do a little bit of research it might not be something that people can work to you for but when you become known and you put up on your social media pages that you're an english graduate and you do all of these things people will easily find that you know they can connect with you when it comes to copywriting for their products or their services right and anywhere i mean copywriting is something that is very 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 dicey i've seen people who charge so way higher and people who just charge um you know at the median or so you know what you can charge whatever you think you're worth remember depending on who you are serving you know who you're serving so you know how much that they are comfortable to pay but anywhere between four hundred dollars to eight hundred dollars every month so people are adding up to like nine thousand dollars a year on the average in fact on the low copywriting for organizations or for people right advertisement is a big deal and writing it in a way that is experiential that is like uh, if you understand that is not sales in that sense is very 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 key and it's giving a lot of much more money next is you know how to speak english you know how to write it you're an expert people are going to call you to speak public speaking is one way you can get into the hearts of people and even get much more jobs so by the time you put yourself out there people are going to ask you to come can you come speak to us in our trainings can you come to speak to us in an event conference you can charge for it i mean even if you don't like to charge a hundred dollars to speak for one hour 30 minutes is something and you can grow from there and that can give you at least two thousand dollars every year how easy is it very easy because people are constantly looking for people to add value to their team to their groups and of course why not you could actually even start with your published books and then use their platforms to call people to buy your books you can use that that opportunity to sell your editing business your services you know what I mean speaking gives you the opportunity to take people on a journey how you want it to be but you have you must make sure that you connect with the people who are your host about what you can do or what you cannot do okay all right three more to go and we'll be, I'll be wrapping up are you still here drop in the comment section does this make sense to you what are you studying that i can give you your degree money route right now let me know in the comment section what do you study in your university and i'll give you 20 ideas like this about how to monetize them okay you can be an editor of a literary magazine so you can look at magazine production where people can access snippets or short summaries of books stories and all that movie reviews you can start that kind of interesting magazine and be an editor even if the magazine sells for um, any lower amount between ten dollars to two hundred dollars depending on what it is you can at least make two thousand dollars every year from that magazine business is it easy yes you need a little bit of income to start because you need to get the storage, you need to have a team, you need to get into producing it, printing it and all that and also marketing it which is key but on the long run you should be able to give you $2,000 in the list to about $6,000 every year producing your own. Being an editor now of a literary magazine it might be owned by you or co-owned by you or you just work for an organization that run it okay so think about it. So have you ever thought that you could be selling books? Yes! You could own bookstores so that way your books are selling and you can help other people sell books and being an english graduate makes it even more easy for people to trust you you can own a chain of bookstores in fact when you start with the little that you have right now i know that you can even start selling books from the book title that you already have right now owned by you you can also have like a mini library where people can come in and read your books from there you can grow into a proper bookstore right so think about it also think about having like a book club Club reading inside there that will attract a lot more people to see the titles that you sell and with time you grow from there for only a bookstore you can earn anywhere between two thousand dollars every month if you're able to sell as much books as possible and the cost and the margins are limitless what you can earn in a year script writing writing for the screen writing movies you can go ahead and learn to do this more and of course use your expertise from school to begin to write stories that people can buy off you keep writing is such a big deal i know a lot of people may not pay so much for it you know depending on where you are in africa but globally it is a very 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 um lucrative skill but now is it easy to break into people who can buy not very easy because you may, you may need to network with industry experts in natural people who are into production 
who may, may be able to take a decision about buying your script but who said you can't start writing them you can't start publishing them as books by the time they become books it's easier as a drama now it's easier for people to read it and, and decide to, to work with you to produce it into a movie we we'll have had a lot of books that have transformed into movies like that so don't sleep on this start your script writing skill and start making impact with it you can earn at least 100 to 200 dollars per script and that's you know and that will give you a decent about 2000 to so four thousand or six thousand dollars every year, you know, depending on who, how many scripts you're able to write and how many people you're able to sell to. Okay. Finally, you could actually create merchandise that is literally so. Whether they are t-shirts, you can do Aristotle t-shirts, you know, or Arist or shirts with Aristotle quotes or with your own quotes or movie titles. Things like that, you know what I mean? Merchandise can be cups, it can be bottles, it can be water bottles, it can be fitness gears, whatever it is, but make sure that the writings on them are literary, that makes people think. That could just become your niche, right? So make sure you don't sleep on this. Make sure you can, you know, if you understand how to work with production teams, your manufacturing teams, you can go ahead and brand your merchandise in a way that will make people think literary, think storytelling, think people and how they live. You can make in selling your merchandise at least $12,000 in a year, yet. And there are so much more, and I'm gonna bring you those and more courses as we go. Whether you study law, medicine, geology, whatever it is, let me know in the comment section and I will do a video like this to so 20 ways you can make money from your degree, okay? All right, see you in my next video.